I'm here today with Trapper J. It's his last day in Minnesota. He's sad. Yeah, it's it is. I love Minnesota. Right he said, there in that shack. <laughs> right there. Yeah, he's gonna fly, he's yeah. gonna take that ice castle and he's gonna move it on shore <laughs> at the end of the day. And he's going back to Missouri to pick up all of his stuff. Yeah. Wife and kids and they're gonna move up to Minnesota. <laughs> no? Probably not today anyway. Huh? Yeah, it's gonna be. It will. Yeah. Du dual <laughs> it's called dual uh uh Get a house. There's a word for it. Is there such a thing? I want to say dual citizenship, but that's wrong. <laughs> yeah. We need a house sponsor so we can make some videos. <laughs> Just put us over here on this bank over here on yeah. town. Anybody that uh, <laughs> wants to let Trapper J stay in their house all summer long, yes. <laughs> comment on this video. Then we can make videos together all the time. The snowbirds. Those yeah. snowbirds that go yep. down south. Let me be out here in the winter. You need some very trustworthy people up here watching their house like yeah. the locals and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We are out today on this lake, trying, trying, big word, big word, trying to do a pike, pike catch and cook. Uh, my buddy Mike over at Wits Quality Bait borrowed us his frying saucer today. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna put the link for Mike in the description down there and Wits. Go give him a follow and a like and all that good stuff. Trapper Jay's gonna be in the description. But we're trying to catch a pike today. Got some tip downs, might be jigging, big suckers, big fish. And uh, yeah, and we also, actually, we also picked up a bag of potatoes. So hopefully we can do some potatoes with a pike today. We need either fish under 22 inches or over 26. We're really hoping for over 26. Specifically one over 30, 30 suckers or up. Potatoes. Huh? We mean suckers and suckers potatoes. Suckers and potatoes, oh, <laughs> hey, you know what? Maybe you're seeing a catch cook either way. Maybe. Maybe we'll just, we'll out, we'll just chop the heads off some fat and then do that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm thinking this could work yeah. out. <laughs> anyway, you know, just the general area that we're at here, um, there's just a, a point that runs out with a whole bunch of junk on it. There's weeds, there's all kinds of stuff here. Um, we're marking some perch and whatnot. So I would assume where there's perch, you know, bait fish, there's going to be pike. So we're just going to set up and uh, yeah, if you're seeing this, we, we ate something, whether it's a pike or a minnow. Stay tuned. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I say I give them really a couple really hard hooks. That's that's usually how they come off. Ooh. I didn't mean. Ooh. The thirty incher. I didn't mean to let it <laughs> all that slack. That's cut. all right. Um, What's wrong with my drag here? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yes. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that one's going to... That one's Woo. fat. Holy. A, of course, he's got a 12-inch sucker in his stomach. <laughs> forgot that I had two hooks. Oh, Pretty did sure it? Oh, dude, watch out. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh. ah. Yeah, we don't put our fingers in the pike small. Oh, I do. Do you? Haven't you fished with me? <laughs> Here, pull oh. his mouth open a little bit. I wanted to grab it out. Oh, you can. <laughs> He was leaving his mouth wide open. Then he held Dude, on. that's a chunky fish. Then he held on. It would be really nice if you made 26. That is a chunky fish. Oh, yeah, it is. Dude, Jeez. you got a picture of that guy. You're right. Oh, he'll make it. He's 26 and a quarter. He's just, He's over. just over. Okay, you guys see that? Nose. Whoops, Oops. sorry. Get him. Just like this. Oh, now he's like, oh, no. He said it was going to make it. Yep. No. Oh, that, yeah. 26 and a half. Uh -huh. Woo! There you go. Nice. I'll take it. Contributing to our I'll take it. We're gonna eat this our guy. meal, yeah. Jesus. Beauty. Fat, fat, Hold that fat, guy fat. up again. Just look at the color on this thing, you guys. See that? It's beautiful. Beautiful pike. Bait gear's just going. Check my drag here. That's that giant sucker. <laughs> Doesn't feel very big. Well, boy. 
A little guy, but that is a start. <laughs> Here we go. You know, we're gonna measure him, and if he's under 22 inches, sorry, fella, he's getting on the catch. He's gonna be featured on the catch and cook today. <laughs> I got one. Woo. I don't know I've been running forever. I was over there fishing and I could hear my I could hear my drag just going. to come loose he was on a tree Whew, it was it was hooked on a tree <laughs> or something Probably all right on the he's been is it on? yeah he's on there oh there he is hey oh it's a miracle he uh he definitely uh Got that. Yeah. That's good. I don't think he's gonna make the 26 inch mark though. We'll go over and measure him real quick, but he's not gonna make it. 24 and a half. So he is not gonna be edible per Minnesota state regulations, but in any other a little blood, he'll be alright. He was just hooked inside the mouth. Any other scenario. I'd keep a fish that size. Boom, gone. All right, guys, I didn't show you, but clean these pike here. Saved, uh, saved a little row here, I think. And then we got all the boneless pike flays in here. I didn't show you all the cleaning because YouTube doesn't like a bunch of blood. So. Got some boneless pike fillets, got some potatoes, and uh, yeah, got our frying saucer over here. You gonna try some fish eggs there, bud? Uh, I might. <laughs> I usually, I, every time I catch a spoon, we take a bite of them. Yeah, off. we're gonna deep fry it and see what happens here. But we're gonna go over, get the frying saucer going, and uh, yeah, hopefully start cooking some fish. Little, little sucker, little sucker and a little treble hook. <laughs> it is windy out. Got the heat oil over there heating up. This one's a little different, rigged a little different than the other ones were. <laughs> Victory! Yep. Oh, little guy, little guy. Oh! Oh, yeah, I can run. <laughs> Just a little fella on that. Had a small suckerman on this one and a small treble hook. Some 15 pound fluorocarbon. He's going back in the water while we wait. All right, you guys, took a little bit here. Little Trapper J got his fish house set up. So we are finally frying some fish. Let me give them about four minutes. That's, that's pretty oh. awesome. Isn't mm. that good stuff? Oh my gosh, so good. Especially after a long, cool day. Mm -hmm. My far, no, my far rod. 
It's down, isn't it? No? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh! <laughs> like, stay up, damn you! Oh, are you guys seeing this? Uh, Look at this. In, <laughs> inside Trapper Jay's house. <laughs> How's it tasting? It's awesome. Oh. Gonna be sad to go home tonight? Yeah, I am very sad. <laughs> very sad. French fries, too. I'm mm. on the 65 degrees. <laughs> that one. This one right here. Okay. See that guy? It's right there. Northern Pike Eggs. Split it open so you can see. Yep, see that? Mm. Right there. How's it gonna taste? You've done it before? Not pike eggs. Oh, that's gonna be seasoned. Better give me a small piece mm -hmm. to start off. A oh, weird flavor. Nothing bad. So. <laughs> Chocolate sake ish, baby. Well, that's kind of weird, though. Got a tapioking, tapioking Another. texture. The eggs actually got hardened. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. There you go. Northern Pike eggs. Not bad. Jesus. It felt easy, so it could be. See, it wasn't fighting very a whole lot. No, I had him in the hole. Pike. Is it in the hole or yep. <laughs> Oh, he's got a lot. Jesus, he's bigger than I thought he was. It's a, it's a fat fish. God, he's got so many parasites. <laughs> Simple. Nice. Well, there you go. Nice, fat, chunky guy. Yeah. Are you the one the sun is shining? We've had... <laughs> and there's just been a bunch of hits. Just We've had three bites in the last four minutes. There's no way it's the same fish. Those belly. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he's got something. He's Some more of those... Uh... Ooh, he's going back. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be a walleye. <laughs> this on. Check one, two. Hey, what's up, guys? So... A little catch and cook bike action today. Did you have some fun? Yeah. <laughs> Same question I ask them every time, I every month. Missed, oh missed yeah. Oh, had a kind of a, hours. had a great day and had a rough day. Long eight hours thinking what could have been. You guys, he had a huge pike on and it broke my 30 pound liquid steel leader, beaver dam steel leader. I've, I've never had one break before. I caught a 44 and a half on one. And it broke, like straight up sheared that sucker off. I don't know. It was catfish hunter. And then right a little bit ago, lost lost a big one at the hole. That I, I it almost looked walleye-ish. We're getting we're get to the right getting right to the witching hour where the walleye's gonna start biting. So anyway, pulled out the old frying saucer. Worked pretty good. He already ordered one. <laughs> yeah. In the hut while it, eating. Yeah, food. in the hut. Good thing Trapper Jay had his had his uh, hut here. Because we had to get it in there in order to get it up to temperature, the oil. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but it was... Every time I go fishing, it'll be like... <laughs> yep. Remember that day in The Minnesota? memories of Minnesota. <laughs> you can bring Damon in there and let him smell yeah, your tent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damon can get in there. You can smell, you can smell oh, his yeah. tent, Damon, and know what, know what he was experiencing. <laughs> yeah, so pretty... No, nothing real crazy here for, uh, like, where we're, where we're sitting at. Um, it drops off on either side of us. There's just a top of a, a finger that runs through here and it's got rocks and trees and weeds stuff all over it and these fish have just been kind of going through here and biting all day long they're really i mean mostly these these two rods back here are the ones that have been going off the most i don't know if there's something special about them back there or not but you better make sure you mark that spot i will <laughs> so anyway i want to show you quick what we we're using for our rods wise anyway uh -oh. that one just far. which one Oh. We're gonna walk up here, it's gonna go down. So, you guys, well, so there's a Sullivan tip down over there. That's just supposed to look like, this is a ghetto tip down. See that? That is a Sullivan tip down, but I forgot some parts. So, we Jimmy rigged her to the old propane tank, and uh, yeah, I lost some parts by tip down. That's just supposed to look like, right over there. You guys have seen me use them before, but 
This one here, I've got 15 pound fluoro and a small treble and a small sucker on it. Other one, I've got a 30 pound steel leader with a treble on it and a massive, massive sucker minnow on it. But we're just fishing three feet off the bottom on this area here, adjacent to deep water. Pike, we're moving in. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the old catch and cook video. Gonna put Trapper Jay's channel link down in the description. Gonna put Mike's stuff down in the description and yeah, this is a, this is this is Trapper Jay's end to Minnesota. Oh, God. Yeah. oh. Uh, it's gonna be hard to drive out of here. Yeah, I don't know what time it's gonna be when I leave. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. He's staying. He, he's going for the the dark. twilight the twilight I gotta, walleye bite. I gotta. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I appreciate you letting me come down. It was awesome. Great. Good, like. Or up, I should say. Yeah. Up. Oh. Yep. He'll. He said he's coming back in March. We're gonna head to Devil's Lake. <laughs> go get him go get him a 40 inch pike might just be two solid days of fishing yeah nothing wrong with that every time he comes up here he gets something leaves us something yeah. sees a frying saucer buys a frying saucer I didn't get a PB yet though this year that's right <laughs> it'll happen especially when we make it to Devil's Lake rods <laughs> <laughs> I know up here. he, <laughs> he comes up here <laughs> and he's like I like all that stuff and then he just goes and buys it he's He's slowly, partly becoming Minnesotan. I need a sponsor. <laughs> Send him everything. Ugh. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.